This is a short tutor to revision video on herd behaviour. Well, herd behaviour is when the individuals in a group follow the actions of others, often ignoring their own information, their own logic or preferences. Effectively, this leads to group level decision making that is not always perfectly rational or economically efficient. It's based on the simple idea, if everyone else is doing it, it must be right, even if that's not actually the case. So herding means following group behaviour rather than individual uh, logic. It's driven clearly by peer influence, social pressures or the fear of missing out, FOMO. It often leads to irrational or often more suboptimal decisions. And it can happen across economics from micro to macro, in financial markets, in individual consumer behaviour or in crisis situations. Now, herd behaviour is strongly tied to uncertainty and information asymmetry. So link this, please, to information failure. People follow others because they don't trust their own knowledge. And herd behaviour does challenge the rational agent model in classical economics. Emotions, uncertainty, group dynamics can often, come, often override and overcome logic. So why is herd behaviour important in economics? Well, it helps to explain, for example, market bubbles and crashes. People piling into a rising asset like crypto or tech stock because everybody else is buying and you've heard that you don't, that, you don't want to miss out. Consumer trends and fads. Brands often become trendy, not necessarily because of their intrinsic quality or value, but because everyone is wearing them. TikTok driven fads, for example, the role of social influencers. And people tend to imitate choices they see as socially acceptable, particularly amongst teenagers and other younger groups. And bank runs. We see her behaviour in financial markets. If a few people start withdrawing money, fearing a bank collapse, others may following follow causing a liquidity crisis, even if the bank was stable. So it's a perfect example of herd behaviour triggering systemic risk. So please be aware of herd behaviour as you study financial economics and understand how it can be linked into information failure and behavioural economics.